Avoiding facial nerve injuries is a key step to this procedure. This is designed within the preauricular skin crease and then taken posteriorly behind the tragus for optimal cosmesis. An alkaot or temporal extension is not necessary in all cases, but can be when dealing with severe ankylosis or difficult access. The main trunk of the facial nerve exits deep, about one centimeter deep and inferior to the tragal pointer. It also exits about three millimeters away from the tympatomastoid suture line and about seven millimeters away from the posterior belly of the digastric. The frontal branch innervates the frontalis muscle. It crosses the zygomatic arch at a line called Patangi's line, which is located 0.5 centimeters inferior to the tragus and 1.5 centimeters superior lateral to the eyebrow. The frontal branch on average can be found about 2.5 cm anterior to the external auditory canal as it travels immediately superficial to the periosteum, but in some cases it can be as close as 8 mm to the EAC. As such, it is important not to incise too far anteriorly away from the EAC when cutting down onto the zygomatic arch. We are going to first start with our preauricular incision. We are going to identify the periosteum overlying the zygomatic arch and the lateral capsule of the TMJ. Our approach is then going to be from a posterior superior and deep direction, and we should not encounter the facial nerve. 